Hey Stewie, uh, look, something came up. I'm not gonna be able to do the picnic today. Oh, oh, was that was that today? Oh, yeah. Oh no, no way I can make that either. I'm 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 canceling too, man. <laughs> wow, good memory though. I, I totally blanked on that. Stewie Griffin. My God, Bertram! How is this possible? I I killed you. You only killed me in this universe, you fool. Oh, so you got yourself a multiverse remote, huh? Indeed I did! Wait, ho hold on. Will someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? Sorry, hang on one sec. You remember the multiverse theory? Yeah... It's the one about how there are alternate universes that coexist with ours on parallel dimensional planes. So, in each of these universes, the reality is different from our own. Sometimes only slightly, sometimes quite radically. This Bertram is from a universe where we never killed him! Okay, okay, I think I got it. Sorry, not a genius. Now what do you want? Well, I can't possibly allow a universe to exist without me in it! I'm traveling the multiverse, building up an army to exact my revenge on you! When I return, I'm going to destroy your universe completely! See you soon, Stewie! Ah! <laughs> this is bad. With a cross-dimensional army, he'll have no problem destroying our universe. Who knows what he's going to bring back here? Well, what are we supposed to do? We have to try and stop him before he can organize his attack. Right, Brian, we're going to need to arm ourselves. I'm sure he knows we're going to come after him. His armies are going to be waiting for us every step of the way. You think... You think maybe I can use one of your ray guns? No, I get Stewie weapons, you get the boring stuff. That's what we're doing. Fine. But how are we going to find him? He could be anywhere, right? Luckily, I just updated my multiverse remote, so I have tracking software now. We'll be able to follow every move he makes. Hang on, Bri. We're going back to the multiverse. What the hell? Wait a minute, Brian, this isn't where we were supposed to go. What do you mean? I don't know, the remote's not working for some reason. You know, everyone said, get on the cloud, it's going to be great. And everything's been a nightmare since. Well, can you fix it? I don't have the proper tools. But maybe we can find someone who does. All right, well, can you at least find out where we are? According to the multiverse remote, this is a universe ruled by Greeks. So, what does that mean? Fat, hairy philosophers in togas or fat, hairy greaseballs in speedos? Oh yeah, Greeks have always been gross and still are. But no, it's not those kinds of Greeks, Brian. It's worse. It's frat boys. Hey, those guys aren't like us. Get those knob gobblers. <laughs> Brian, run! We have to find someone to help us fix my remote! What's a knob gobbler? They're right there! Thanks to our fraternity, here's a Torah and some bacon corruption. This might sound a little odd, but do you know if there's like an electronic store or a creepy Armenian? Oh, I can help you get that fixed, but I'll require a service in return that's worth more than the service I'll be providing you with. We need you to help our fraternity throw that apart. We've been standing around complaining for hours, but that doesn't seem to be a party to the Gentiles. Here's some ammo. Now go shoot those lame balloons down. Oh, wait until I put my earplugs in. Throwing up a field. Only too tired? Tag out. I feel safer on the internet. The balloons. Now, oh look, there's a sorority girl running down the street. I bet her dad's so rich. Dude, wait until my bros see these nasty pictures of you. Get hey, back get here, here, you mischievous mountain of doo-doo dripping! You should go talk to that sorority girl and see what's the matter. Also, ask her how much her dad has in his retirement fund. Scumbag stole pictures of me and my sorority sisters. I'll pretend to like whoever gets them back. Wow, someone should buy her a razor. I'd say she's a low seven. Get those guys, they're with the- <laughs> Now I will 
feel bad about crapping my pet. Blacked out. You want the pictures? Come and get them. I already yanked to them anyway. These two dorks just won't quit. Come on, let's look at bro. Hey, bro. Nope. He's just swimming. You see, college is all about having fun, you know? Oh, you should try to find more of them so you have material to shamefully put yourself to it, or even bury your little mortar. Now, I got a keg, but this one's a put the deposit down. Ah, will you buy one for me? Oh, I think that house over there has one. Let me know if you guys want to drink with me! Bye-bye, Trap! There it I is. Have no This is what happens when douchebags become way too entitled. Listen, honey, after what happened to you tonight, you wouldn't want to wake up tomorrow and... So fill me 
Ew, that thing is so tacky. The boys are gonna be so pissed. Brian, use your Molotov cocktail to destroy the float and put the jackets there so we can bring them. Yeah, he's pretty. What are you doing? Stop! Kick the security! <laughs> How the hell do you work this? We don't line up on the evening news because of this. <laughs> now no one will ever see my photography. <laughs> chicken out of. Hey, no problem. Thanks for fixing the remote. Oh, fellas, I almost forgot. Some of the other nerds uploaded a new program on your remote. It analyzes your surroundings and gives you hints of what you should be doing on your journey. Hey, I'll be popping up now and then with objectives and little hints if y'all get stuck. And if you're in the mood, I can tell you where all the best farmers market is. Bye. Okay, we'll get to that later. We have to go, Bry. Bertram's already got a head start on us. <laughs> Okay, now how exactly does a party work? Do we just take Alka-Seltzer and burp into our fists? 